With LeBron James coming to town, the Wizards could be missing Otto Porter Jr. As the Washington Wizards went through a shoot-around Saturday afternoon, forward Otto Porter Jr. remained in the trainer's room receiving treatment on his right thigh Bruce. After the session, coach Scott Brooks called Porter tough and summoned memories of previous instances when he had responded well to treatment. More than ever, the Wizards, 16-13 could use Porter's resolve and his ability to heal quickly. LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers, who had won 16 of their last 17 games entering their Saturday night contest against the Utah Jazz, are coming to Capital One Arena on Sunday. During the team's last meeting on November 3, James scored 57 points, the most by an opponent inside the Wizards' downtown DC arena. Although no Wizards player could stop James on that night, the odds won't be any better Sunday if Porter cannot play. As of Saturday, Porter was considered questionable. Hopefully he can play, because we're going to need him, Brooks said. He's one of our best players against one of the best teams coming in. As James approaches his 33rd birthday, he is in the midst of another MVP caliber season. Through 29 games, he has averaged 28.1 points. 9.1 assists and 8.3 rebounds. On Thursday, James tied the legend Larry Bird for 6th place all-time with his 59th career triple-double. If Porter remains on the sideline, then the Wizards will try defense by committee to slow down James. That didn't work in November, but holding James to less than 57 points would be an improvement nonetheless. We're hoping to keep him to 56. That would be a better game for us. Brooks said, delivering the self-effacing punchline. One point. Hey, small incremental gains, they're always important. The list of potential LeBron stoppers starts with Kelly Uber Jr., the likely candidate to start at the three spot in place of Porter. The third-year forward noted how James attempted half of the Cavs' 46 shots during that game and had the Wizards done a better job in limiting other players. Derek Rose contributed 20 points in the Cavs' 130-122 win over Washington, then the result could have been different. One person shouldn't be able to beat you. We beat ourselves that game, Uber said. The stats were pretty similar as far as team stats. LeBron just had an impactful game, but we let other guys kind of chip in and help them get that victory. Last game, the Wizards did not double James probably due to his court vision and ability to find the open shooter. If they remain in single coverage Sunday, then Uber could pitch in as one of the several rotating bodies. But while Uber has the length and athleticism to potentially disrupt passes from James, he will give up at least 45 pounds against the powerful veteran, a fact James surely recognizes and will exploit in post-hoop plays. Kelly is definitely going to have his hands full. We're talking about one of the greatest players to ever play the game, playing at a high level, MVP probably right now, Brooks said. But I think we're going to need bodies around him. Being down a body doesn't help, but we have to manage it without any excuses and give ourselves the best chance. The only way you can do that is by competing against who's in front of you. For matching James's strength, the Wizards could use power forward Markeith Morris who made his season debut on November 3 against the Cavs after missing their first seven games and training camp while recovering from surgery. After that loss, Morris confidently responded, Hell yeah, when asked whether he could he have helped stop the James Barrage had he been healthier. Now entering his 22nd game of the season, Morris should get the chance to prove his words because, when James calls for a pick and roll with Jay Crowder or Kevin Love, he will have to switch over and face James one-on-one. -on -one. It's not going to be easy, no matter who's in front of him, Brooks said. LeBron, he sees so many plays ahead of the play and he's always looking to pass other than when he played us. He was looking to score. While Morris still lacks his explosiveness from before and criticized himself for hacking too much during the Wizards' 191 win over the Los Angeles Clippers on Friday night. He looks forward to the Cavs matchup as a barometer for his team. We got to go out there and play our game. If we go out there and play like ourselves, 
we're capable of beating anybody in the league, Morris said. No matter who it is. We just got to play our game and protect home court. We need to measure up against the best teams in the league. Read more on the Wizards. Wizards blow big lead, manage to keep shorthanded clippers at bay. Scott Brooks continues to turn to his bench to help carry the Wizards across the finish line. Wizards road trip is about the ridiculous, the sublime, and fashion.